You can configure custom product pages within the branding settings of your organization, where you can also remove references to Retool, upload logos and fav icons, as well as send transactional emails from your own email service on your own custom domain. On the right, you'll see a page that's managed by Retool for login. When I press Manage, I can select from a list of public-facing applications to replace this Retool Manage login screen. And once I do so, I'm all set. You could also do the same for Reset Password, Claim Invites, 403s, 404s. So that's it. At this point, you're just operating inside of Retool and using Retool applications to manage the entire end-to-end -end user journey. Here we've built a fully custom supplier portal that lets partners upload and manage their inventory. Custom product pages let you replace Retool Manage login, sign up, reset password, and more with Retool applications, letting me build out pretty much any user journey that I want. Now let's look at this experience as a partner. Once I'm logged in, I'm taken to an authenticated screen that shows me my order volume as well as the applications I have access to based on my permission groups. You'll also see that I can translate this application to Spanish. With Retool, you can internationalize your application to pretty much any locale and sync those translations to Git and manage a source control process directly within Retool. Within this portal, I can also upload parts, view my overall inventory, and configure my account. And so this entire experience is virtually indistinguishable from React. And custom product pages let you control this journey from login to the actual authenticated experience itself. Now let's take a look at how I set up custom product pages.